Hi, I have a bad hard drive here. And I want to get rid of it, but I want to be sure that everything is off it. So I plug this thing into my computer and it just kind of spins, but it never gets recognized. It's an old 20 gig hard drive. Luckily, one day I was at a dollar store and I stumbled upon this toolkit. Maybe I was at Office Depot and it was on clearance, but I don't think I paid any more than $5 for this toolkit and it just happens to have the right Torx bit that fits in these holes because these holes are not standard screw holes so lucky me I took advantage I hopped on that opportunity to get some Torx screws that I never really thought I'd ever use but oh boy oh boy am I happy that I bought them and so I'm taking the little screws out. Come in, little screw. You will come out. Yeah. And I think on the last one I took apart, they weren't all the same. But not all hard drives are equal. This one's an old Seagate. So far, all these screws have been the same. I probably should have, uh, you know, tested this beforehand, but. I'm kind of a wing it kind of guy. And I'm just uh, taking this off so I could scratch up the drive. It's neat, in the last one I had, the hard drive was made of some kind of material that wasn't that easily scratchable. It was impressive. I felt like I found some extraterrestrial material. Okay, so now we're running into a little problem here. These screws are not like the top screws. So now I need to find another bit. Well, I'm going to put this one in a nice special spot though, because this one worked. Let's see about this one. Did I get lucky on the first try? No, but it's pretty close. You know, when I bought these screw, uh, this Torx set, I felt like I was in, like I had a movie moment where it said, you'll need these someday in the future. I'm probably making a bigger deal out of this than I should. Anybody could buy a pack of Torx screws. But I got them for like one to five bucks. Aha! I found one that works. Okay, so, so different screws are on the bottom. Little barriers to entry. You know, maybe I'll slide this into view here. This little torque set. No. Eh. Let's put these little things back in here. It's a pretty slick deal. Gotta have the capital to deploy when a when a super deal comes along. Screws, screw. What am I doing with a twenty gig hard drive anyway, right? Yeah. So a phone call just came and interrupted my video. Let's see what I just took off this thing here. Hmm. So this is like the. Uh, I guess control board. I really don't know the real name for it, but and let's see the top part here. Can I take it off? Oh, there's still some more sneaky stuff here. Well, I just damaged that there. Ah, so this stuff comes off. Will this reveal more? No, no other screws there. Hmm. All right, well, I don't even remember how I got this off eventually, but I had to pry it and this is how it was with the other one. And by the way, this is the following day. <laughs> At this point, I got really busy. So. There it is. Now I 
that's the inside of the hard drive. I'm sure you've seen this before. I think this the the bar ended up getting bad. But here's what's fascinating about these. Uh, so to me, what's so fascinating about this is uh, it's like I can't scratch it. Um, look at look at the the, sh look at the sharpness of this. And I'm trying my best to scratch the heck out of this. You hear the sound effects. Look at that. Nothing. It's like made of... Actually, wait a minute. This one did kind of scratch, but it's barely a scratch. It's like made of... UFO material. That just won't scratch. I'm pressing pretty good on here. I'm pretty sure this is jacking up the the hard drive, but you know, with my naked eye, I this one's scratching a lot easier. And this is an older drive than the one I did a couple days ago, which is not on camera. I had to really scratch hard to scratch the, the newer one. I'm impressed with with whatever they used to make this. I feel bad that I'm scratching this up too, cause, and I, I even feel bad that I gotta get rid of it. Because this is a really cool looking device. Who the heck would have thought this would work? You know that, <laughs> that this head reads information. How, how is that possible? I wonder, you know, maybe I should start keeping these little heads and just hang them on the wall. They look so cool. Except I don't know how to get this part out. Because like when you unscrew that, this kind of, I don't know, but, but the material this is made of, it just feels cool. It looks like a, doesn't this look like a, like a platinum record, you know, the way the plaque is, <laughs> it's cool, but got to scratch it up and got to get rid of it. But I don't think human beings invented this technology. I mean, John von Neumann conceived the idea of a stored program and supposedly could divide eight digit numbers in his head. But uh there's just some super smart people back in the day. And they're just making a movie about Alan Turing. I want to see a movie about John von Neumann. It's amazing how like you never hear about him in history. And he was involved in like every single secret project. From the Manhattan Project, to the Philadelphia Experiment, to the Montauk Project, John von Neumann, and inventing, basically getting credit for inventing the computer. You know, you don't hear about Nikola Tesla and John von Neumann, and they're like, they made the two most important inventions of the 20th century. And I, 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 I'm, I'm scratching the daylight out of this thing, man. And it's really not scratching. This is some Unum Pentium space material. This is probably what the uh, crash flying saucers in Roswell were made of. And I'm about to throw this thing out. I'm throwing out special flying saucer material. Anyway, I, I, I'm gonna have to like do this offline, scratching harder. But um. And, and you know, I, I'm not even guaranteeing what I'm doing here is really destroying the data. But it's reducing the amount of uh, people that could possibly extract any information off this. This is crazy. That I'm, I'm scratching the crap out of this thing. It's not even scratching. Yeah, man, I'm telling you, this is... Uh, this is an artifact from outer space. <laughs> I don't know how you could have possibly enjoyed this video because it took apart a hard drive and I'm not even destroying it correctly. As much scratching as I did, the most effective was right there. I don't really see many scratches on the rest of this. 
But the, what I did do is when I do get rid of this, this part is not going to be in the same garbage can. And I think this is what you need. And I think you have to have like the same parts for the same model to be able to resurrect them. Although, you know, I think some of the information is suspect out there. Because this thing seems really resilient. <laughs> to be honest, this is like... This is... I'm going to build a house up out of this stuff. A fortress. Alright. You can like and subscribe to this. But that's your option. I hope something about this video is useful. Uh, if I could find these Torx... What is this called? Tech Pro Tools. And like I said, this was bought on clearance somewhere for either a dollar, maximum five dollars. There's no way I paid any more than five. And it came with all these little, and I just happened to get lucky. You know what, did I lose my other bit? Because I got a couple more of these I need to take apart. All right. Tech Nuba, Tech Nuba. Tech, Nuba. Peace.